We got some big visa news here in Thailand. A lot of people are talking about this. It's the visa that a lot of people have been waiting for. And in this video, I'm going to give you all the details. I'm going to tell you where things currently stand. And because tit, this is Thailand, I'm going to tell you uh, some of the questions that remain, who this visa is for, how you can apply, all kinds of good stuff. But uh, man, they finally did it. This was a visa that I personally have been calling for for years. I'm going to compare it to a couple of other visas. And in fact, this is the start of what I'm going to call Visa Month. For the next month on this channel, I'm going to put out a couple of videos, each talking about a specific visa type, because it's probably the top question I get. To start with, though, in this video right now, I'm going to talk about this new Destination Thailand visa. It's already being called the DTV. I just hope that anyone who gets the DTV doesn't end up moving over here and getting an STD. Anyways, let's get into the details. First, this, this is a five-year visa, and it's a multiple entry visa. That means you can come and go as you please. For most visas in Thailand, you should know when you're applying that there's usually a single entry and a multiple entry option. So it's really important, I think, to select the multiple entry option because otherwise if you forget to tick that box and you end up getting a visa without multiple entry, as soon as you leave the country for a little trip, Maybe you want to jump up to Luang Prabang for a weekend. Boom. Your single entry is used up. You got to get a brand new visa. So for any visa, make sure you get multiple entry. For the DTV, though, it seems that multiple entry is just par for the course. So it's a five-year multiple entry visa. Next, holders of the DTV visa can stay in Thailand for up to 180 days per visit. And because it's multiple entry, uh, I'm assuming that that means you could just take a trip up to Luang Prabang, maybe down to Penang in Malaysia, maybe over to, to Siam Reap or Hanoi. Just take a little uh, hop, skip and a jump after your 180 days is coming to a close and boom, you re-enter. And I think you should get a new 180 days. Apparently you can renew the visa though one time without leaving the country, but just one time over the five years, you can renew the visa and get your 180 day clock reset. So that would mean that you could spend technically pretty much one full calendar year in Thailand, 360 days on this five year visa. But other than that, you would have to come and go uh, at least once every 180 days. And how much does the visa cost? They're saying it's going to cost 10,000 Thai baht. I think that's about $300. I'll definitely put it up in, in graphics in a couple of currencies for you. Um, apparently, the renewal fee is also 10,000 baht. So if you do want to renew it and extend that 180 days without leaving the country, you got to pony up another 10,000 baht. Next, let's get into the benefits of the visa and talk about who this visa is really designed for. So first of all, the income requirements for this visa are a hell of a lot lower than other similar kind of digital nomad visas in Asia. I think there's one in Malaysia where there's an income requirement, pretty modest, $24,000 a year to get um, some sort of Malaysian digital nomad visa. In Japan, I heard there's an income requirement of $68,000 a year, but the income requirements for this are, are pretty much non-existent. It's just more proof of cash. So I'm going to get into all the requirements in just a sec, but moving along with the benefits. The next one's big. You can work for foreign companies on this DTV visa. And that's huge because that was my, the, the one bone that me and a lot of people had to pick with the LTR visa. I'm going to do a whole video on the LTR visa soon. But that's the long-term resident visa. Up to 10 years, great visa. Won't go into the details, but they had built that visa as the one for remote workers. And yes, 
you can get an LTR as a remote worker, but there's the fine print that was killing kind of all of these digital nomads, these these global solopreneur type freelancers who just work with themselves in a laptop because to qualify as a remote worker for an LTR visa, you needed to be working for a international corporation that does over $150 million a year in business. So really, it's just for the big international corporations that allow remote workers. And it just left this gaping hole and people scratching their heads like, why doesn't Thailand come up with an easy solution for the laptop warriors, we'll call them? You know, freelance graphic designers, freelance copywriters, by the way, <laughs> all jobs that probably <laughs> won't exist in another couple of years when, when AI starts taking over all of these types of jobs. But as of now, there's a lot of people who make a living simply with themselves and their laptop. And this is exactly who the Destination Thailand visa, the good old DTV, was designed for is these digital nomad type of workers who freelance for customers maybe all over the world. Another big benefit of the DTV visa is that you can bring over dependents. So whether that's a spouse or a children under the age of 20, anyone who holds a DTV visa is going to be allowed to bring dependents with them. That's actually a huge benefit. There is some serious questions, though, that, that are yet to be answered with this visa. And I'm going to get into that in a minute. But first, I'm going to blow through the, the eligib uh, eligibility eligibility requirements, the eligibility requirements. So pretty simple. You got to be 20 years old minimum. There's no income requirements. As I said earlier, you have to have proof of at least 500,000 baht. Not sure if that's a Thai bank account or a foreign bank account, but all they want to see is that you have 500,000 baht, which equates to between 13 and 14,000 US dollars saved up so that you can actually afford to live here. Of course, another requirement is to pay the 10,000 baht visa fee. And this all sounds simple enough, but uh, there are some questions. People are confused about some points and there's still some things to get resolved. So let's get into that. This is what everyone's asking. So, so you got the ability to apply and extend your 180 days just one time over the five years. That costs 10,000 baht. But what happens if you don't even bother doing that? I mean, one of the beauties of living in Thailand is every six months, 180 days, you're going to want to go on a little trip. You're going to want to go somewhere, uh, enjoy a little getaway. So if, and plus that will equate to a visa run on this DTV visa. So if you are here for 170 days, you take a little trip over to Phnom Penh, somewhere like that, Vietnam, any, anywhere. You just leave Thailand to reset, come back, you get your new 180 days on your same five-year DTV visa. Are they going to want 10,000 baht for that? Or will that be a free kind of renewal? That's a big question. Uh, I haven't been able to find the answer. If you know the answer, comment below. This is a group effort here with things that are new and developing. Uh, next question, what are the tax implications? Say I'm Joe and I got a bunch of clients for graphic design work on my laptop and I'm going to live in Thailand for the next five years on this DTV visa. What are the tax implications? One of the main benefits of that LTR visa, which I'm going to highlight in a video soon, is very clear flat tax uh, for these types of workers out of 17%. Nobody really knows just yet what's going on with taxes and the DTV. Next, are you going to have to show any proof of employment? Is that going to be a requirement? Or because that'd be hard for a lot of freelancers, you're not really employed. You would just have freelance work agreements and a bunch of one-off contracts. So hopefully there's not going to be any need to show any sort of proof of employment as part of this process. Next question. Apparently you're not allowed to work for a Thai company under this visa. That requires a Thai work permit 
which I don't believe you need with the DTV. So if you can't work for a Thai company, that leads to the question of can you f provide your freelance services to a Thai company? Say nine out of 10 of your clients are international, but then maybe you pick up a hotel client, a restaurant chain, whatever work you do, you pick up a local Thai client. Is that going to be allowed if you're on a uh, DTV visa? And another question is, you know, it's obvious that this is really meant for the digital nomad uh, crew, the digital nomad gang of people out there. But in all of the marketing and the announcements, they talk about how this is also the perfect visa to explore Thailand and Thai culture. They mention things like Muay Thai, you know, taking Thai cuisine, Thai cooking schools, sports, athletes, medical treatment, events related to arts and music. And that leads to the question, kind of what's the details around all of this? What sort of documentation and requirements are they going to want to see if you want to get this visa under one of these um, kind of umbrellas. So that remains to be seen. But the biggest question is how to apply and when can you get it? Nobody knows. They, 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 the way it works is these things all flood the newspapers in Thailand when announcements are made. But that doesn't mean that it's come into effect. The latest was this 60-day tourist visa. Everyone had said at late May, starting June 1st, you get 60-day tourist visa on arrival. June 1st came, a bunch of people at the airport start posting all over Twitter and Facebook and stuff saying, I didn't get no I, 60 days. And then it came out, well, yeah, they're just talking about it. It's not coming into effect yet. This type of stuff all has to be published and ratified and made formal and actually launched. So how to apply for this? Nobody knows, but you'll probably be able to apply rated right <clears throat> Thai immigration from within Thailand and probably from the Thai consulates and embassies worldwide. Um, how long will it take? What's the process? That news is still to come. When is this all going to go down? Most people think that sometime in July, um, all of this is going to be known. So when that happens, like I keep saying, I, I will do another video, answer all these unanswered questions, let you know the process, and uh, let you know exactly what documentation you need. If when it does all go down, you're one of the first people out there to get a DTV, reach out to me. I would love to have you on the channel, interview you and hear about your experience, what it was like to get the DTV. So if you plan on being a DTV pioneer, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know. We'll see if I can uh, have a little interview with you, share your story with the rest of the world. This visa, it really sounds like the missing piece to the whole Thailand puzzle. And the, and the Thailand visa situation is definitely a puzzle. It's, uh, <laughs> it, it has several pieces and it, it's, you know, there's, there's, there's a visa for everyone. That's the way I like to think of it, at least now with this one. You know, the reason I say this was a missing piece is because the modern world has so many people that are digital nomads able to make a living just with their laptop. And Thailand's addressed the biggest shortcoming of the LTR visa, the hole in that. For all of those people, young people working with a laptop can now consider Thailand as home. The world of solopreneurs is growing every day. And these people are making good money. They want to kind of be mobile and global. And now Thailand has put themselves right on the map with uh, the best of the best visas, depending how this all plays out. So stay tuned for uh, the update when it comes. Hopefully no more than a month from now. This is all going to be in effect. In the meantime, over the next month, I will be doing a few different videos about different visa types. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, give it a clickety-clack right there. 